Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my vlog. This is sort of part two of my Vegas trip. Oh, who's that guy? That's Jay. So we arrived yesterday and um, we did, it was a long ride from the Grand Canyon. We took our, we took sort of like a, um, a slow ride down. You know, basically we stopped on Route 66, which the historic old Route 66. Yeah, and we got lost. <laughs> Could only happen to us, right? Um, so we stopped there, and that was kind of not what I expected. Let's put it that way. It's not at all what I expected. It was it was cool. It probably took about all of maybe a half hour, and that includes a coffee stop, and then we cruised that little loop, and then we were back on the road. And somehow we were just we got gas. We were just gabbing up a storm and having a blast, and. You know, next thing you know, I mean, we were going to the Hoover Dam, right? And I was, like, looking at the GPS on the phone, and it says, geez, it says we're an hour and 57 minutes away. And Jay goes, well, how can that be? It, we were, like, an hour and 20 minutes away before. And, and then I, then we didn't think anything further, so we just kept going and going and going. And then all of a sudden it became ridiculous, and we realized we were, we were near California, and that we had taken about, a, we figured about 45 minutes out of our way. <laughs> heading the wrong direction. What a bunch of goobas. So we turned around, and so that cost us about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes of time, or whatever it was. We had to get gas again for our rental car, and then we went on, and we went down to the Hoover Dam. It was really, really majestic. I don't know if any of you have ever seen the Hoover Dam. It's huge. Now, we didn't do the tour routine. You could have, but it was jam-packed with tourists, and we didn't have time. So we kind of drove through, as you can see in this clip that I'm sharing, a little bit of the ride and things of that nature. And it was just a really cool, cool ride. We drove all the way up to the very top. And while we couldn't see the views that the folks that were paying to see the views, you know, the bridge and all that stuff, it, we could still get a feel for how huge the Hoover Dam was. I don't know much of the history of the Hoover Dam, but fascinating to see how that had to have been constructed like it was in the rock and all that. Then we went off um, onto the rest of our, our journey into Vegas, and that was a little bit of a nightmare as well, but we did make it safe and sound, and um, we arrived, you know, so last night we walked around the Strip, went and saw the light show, and today is going to be busy, busy convention stuff. So I don't know what I'm going to share, but I'll probably share a few little things here and there. I think I just survived the longest lunch of my life. How long were we at lunch, honey? I, at least two and a half, three hours. <laughs> two and a half, three hours. But hey, it was um, it was really awesome. It was like a an, an most amazing networking event. And so now we just got back to uh, the room. I try to freshen up my my hair a little bit, which I don't know if there's anything I can do with it. But I'm gonna try to freshen up my hair a little bit, and, and um, now we gotta go to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> to go meet a bunch of the very Veronians, uh, the peeps from my office, our office. We're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go down to the lobby, and we're gonna meet a few people, and then we're gonna walk over to La Bandido. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I'm gonna grab a jacket. It's it's cold here in Vegas, guys. It's cold. It's unbelievable. I'm like thinking, really? It should be warm. Yes. I cannot believe that it is actually near the end of our convention in our trip. So tomorrow is the last full day of convention, and tomorrow night we're actually gonna go see Gwen Stefani. So I think we're I think we're going to have a blast. So tonight, today was a really full, crazy day. We did meetings and meetings and training education and all that kind of stuff. And then tonight we had a pool party, which was like this big gala event. It was casual, which was really good, but it was beautiful. You can tell by these photos and these video clips that I'm inserting here. It was absolutely magical. It was 
just really amazing and Jay and I had such a good time mingling with not only the folks from our office but also with agents from all over the country so it was really beautiful so tomorrow full day and tomorrow night when Stefani I'll see I don't know sometimes they don't let you take cameras in I'm not too sure but I'm gonna give it a try and see what I can kind of share with you guys but yeah, and then Wednesday we're leaving so Wednesday is my mom's 91st birthday, and every year on her birthday, on everyone's birthday actually, we always go out to dinner, and this will be the first one we've missed in many, many years, because we won't be arriving until Thursday morning at 1 a.m. We have a flight from hell. <laughs> we really do. Oh, wow. Well. like last year's. Huh? Just like last year's. Well, no, last year we were delayed two days. Yeah, well. This is just one whole darn day of flying. Good oh, well. morning, everyone. Good morning. It is like Tuesday, I think. Is it Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday, um, March 12th, because tomorrow my, tomorrow is my mom's 91st birthday, March 13th. And uh, we're heading down for meetings. And um, tonight will be the Gwen Stefani concert the last night so we've had a great time I've been putting together little clips for a vlog um, of course I haven't downloaded or edited any of them and as usual we've trashed our hotel room Jay's getting ready <laughs> and I'm going to just say have a great day everyone and I will catch you all later we're getting Bye, ready to go out and see Gwen Stefani and then we have to pack so I have all this stuff all over the place. My room is totally trashed. I mean, just take a look at this clip. You can see how totally trashed it is. So when we come home, we'll, we'll start a little bit of packing. But we actually have, um, oh, I think we have to be out of here by, I don't know, you know, 10 o'clock or something. So we actually have some time in the morning. We don't have to feel like we have to be out of here at 6 because we don't have an early morning flight. So much more leisurely um, packing if you want to call it that. I just hope I fit everything in there. <laughs> what a mess. We walked over to the Gwen Stefani concert, which was being held at the Planet Hollywood, and stopped at a little place to eat. It was really pretty, but we had a person just reach up from the sidewalk to grab Jay's beer. It was crazy. And here's Gwen. I get to see you in real life. Okay, because tonight is a celebration. Okay, a celebration of music and a celebration of, of kids and of fighting. All right, so I want to bring out some, some really special guests. I'm going to party, by the way. This is my Vegas show. I'm going to party right now. Thank you for coming. Where are my kids at? I'm bring out my kids. Sunshine Kids Events. These kids right here. I got to meet them before. I got this bracelet. I got this bracelet. I'm not gonna, do you want to tell, tell, tell them what it means? Oh, not appropriate. It's not appropriate. <laughs> so we're going to keep that to me and her, okay? But I'm just excited because the foundation actually provides lots of fun things and activities for these kids to just be kids and enjoy their lives as they fight, fight, fight. So I'm inspired. The Sunshine Kids that are here tonight I adore you. This is incredible. This is life. Celebrating life right here. I can't remember what song I'm supposed to do. What song should I do? Well, I, guess, I, guess, I, I try to forget this song. This is the song that if anybody's followed my, 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 my music, basically my songs are really about like really horrible things that have happened to me. Like love things. I mean, there's horrible things and then there's this this happens to be about love or not love. I love you guys. So anyways, I, I don't like doing this song, but I will do the song tonight because I feel like it's there for you. Because I like you guys.
morning everyone good morning Wednesday morning Jay and I are just about all packed up I'm surprised I uh, fit everything in there anyways we're just about all packed up and we're um, gonna mosey our way downstairs and uh, call an uber for a ride to the airport I'm hoping our flight is okay there's been some um, cancellations of flights on Southwest, uh, friends of ours, you know, uh, co-workers, their flight has been canceled um, due to stormy weather. And Chicago, I think, I'm not too sure. So I'm keeping my fingers and my toes crossed that we get out. Hey guys, I thought I would wrap this vlog up because it's full of our Vegas trip and um, on vlog number one I had shared the Grand Canyon and now I'm just going to sort of recap because one of the things that I was really super worried about when we left for Vegas was going to be how I was going to deal with sun care and sun protection and I pretty well had that covered so I'm going to do a separate video recapping the skincare stuff the foundations but I'm going to answer one foundation question because so many of you have asked this question and that is in my previous two videos I talked about the CYO foundation that you can buy for seven dollars a piece so they're seven dollars a piece you can get them in the states in Walgreens now you may have to order them online in Walgreens and you may have to go to the boots website to try to get a color match the color match I think is the hardest thing to do with these foundations and also the labeling on these bottles are horrible as far as remembering the color so I was talking to Susan Little Poet and we were talking about this foundation and she couldn't quite remember the color shade and and I said here's what I did I said wait till you see my next video so here's exactly what I did I do this to all my bottles because I you know like my, when I say my bottles it sounds like I'm talking booze bottles or not I'm talking about like you know the ordinary bottles and drops and oils and stuff like that I'll I'll label them N for niacinamide you know M for marula oil S for squalene oil whatever it is so that when I'm looking in the medicine cabinet I don't have to worry about not seeing the label so with the CYO for some reason once I figured out the colors I just kind of I don't know if you can see that I just wrote with a black sharpie now these sharpies will rub off after a while too so I wrote with a black sharpie on the bottle this is color 104 I also wrote it on the bottom brown part of the bottle 104 and the place that you can see the color is on this little tiny tiny label here which is just stuck on so you can imagine that label comes off really easy all you have to do is get it wet that label comes off so I got 104 I got 106 and I did the same thing put 106 on here put 106 down here 107 107 did them all the same these are the three shades that I got the 107 even though I believe and I'm going to double check the website I believe that these were all for um, rosy undertones and or pink you know rather than yellow and um, at least that's what I thought I bought but the 107 almost makes me look like I have a tan on my face so I've been mixing the 107 with the 106 the 104 in its own is way too light for me but I can mix it as well and get a combo between these three and put this foundation on now I put this foundation on this morning with the I know I'm going to butcher this the shishido shishido the sunblock the little blue one and um, I put the sunblock all over my face first yesterday when I wore this foundation I used the Australian gold all over my face now yesterday was Saturday I'm gonna insert some clips here because we took my mom and dad out so I'll insert those at the end so you can see the little birthday party but yesterday Saturday I wore this foundation all day today I ended up today I did the shishido it worked really nice on my skin the trick for me is having enough time in between applications to let it dry really good. I I put on this morning the shishado. I walked around the house. Now the shishado that I used, I didn't use the tinted, which I love by the way, but that'll be a separate video. I walked around the house, I put it on, and it's it gives me it does give me a bright casting. The white dissipates pretty quick. But I waited until it was good and dry, and then I put on this. I mixed the 106 with the 106 seven 
and a tiny drop of the 104. So I did three and I patted them on my face and then I did, and now for me, I'm using a dampened sponge. I, when I dampen it, I dampen it with a setting mist, actually, and not water. So I patted that all in. And then when I had it all covered on my face, I just took one of my foundation brushes that I have, and I just put it in all, you know, just kind of like buffed it in all over my face. And I actually... I actually loved doing that. I actually loved buffing it in all over my face, letting it go smoothly. It was just really, really nice. It was a great way for me to kind of like give it up a total buff in. Now, the brush I used, which this, this was like, oh my gosh, this was like such a wonderful thing to come home with. This is the Sigma. This was actually sent to me among, uh, with a lot of other brushes. I'll show you this little clip. I'll insert it somewhere in here. I couldn't believe I got this package. It's like absolutely wonderful. So this was the flat Kapuki brush and I just kind of buffed it all in. I really, really like it. I love, 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 love these brushes. Sigma also sent me a number of other things which I haven't touched yet and I'll go into in a little bit. The other thing, aside from the foundation, I wanted to share with you because this probably was my best find, my best find. If you are a woman like me that you need to wear glasses and you want to be able to do some sort of when you're away you want to pack a magnifying mirror and you know every hotel we stayed at, in vegas we stayed at caesar's palace and oh my god was that a disappointment i was so disappointed in that hotel and that's not a cheap hotel but i was so disappointed in that hotel our furniture was worn the room was clean the bathroom was clean, the sheets were clean, the bed was clean, I inspected everything, but the furniture was worn. It was tired looking. It was grungy looking in that sense because it was tired. And it's it's like, if you want to have, they give you K-cups in your room, but if you use those K-cups, it's unbelievably expensive. So we didn't even have the K-cups, we didn't even use them. But they did have a lighted makeup mirror, but the counter was so low and it was such a big device and it was plugged into the wall, you couldn't really move it and I couldn't move a chair in there. So this thing has been like my savings grace when I travel. And this is basically a lighted mirror and it comes you know, on a little stand that it can stand on. But the nice thing about it is one side, this upper side, is 10 times magnifying, and the lower side is normal, right? So I can choose what I want to do, and I can make this stand up, and I can apply my makeup. I can hold in my hands and apply my makeup, but the coolest thing is, runs my battery. I can turn the battery on, and it's lighted. It's a lighted, oh my gosh. I don't look that great. It's a lighted makeup mirror. I love it. I absolutely love it. So you can turn it on by battery. I think I'll have to go look. I, th I know I kept the box, but I love, love this makeup mirror. And I think I got this like at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that. And it was under 20 bucks. Best, best travel mirror for me, for the type of person I am, because I need the magnifying and I love the lighting. And yes, this like I think three AAA batteries, so that was like really, really cool. So, um, so Vegas was like totally awesome. The other regret I had in Vegas is I didn't bring any of my wigs. I would have loved it had I brought one of my my wigs. It would have made getting up in the morning, going out and about, so much easier. This is my Henry Magu Hayden. I can't remember what color it is. I have to look at it, but I'll link the information below. I love this wig on me. I also love that I have the Raquel Welch Flirt Alert. I love that wig as well. So the thing with wigs, yes, I have hair. I, my hair is thinning. I've been doing, you know, all sorts of things to try to prevent it from really thinning like crazy. But the things with the wigs for me, even when I used to wear my short wigs, half the time in my videos, sometimes I would wear those short wigs that I got from Uniwig. I had it on in a couple of videos ago. And and I absolutely love it because it makes it easy as a content creator to get on camera and talk about a product. So, yeah. And so, yeah, some people say, oh, you know, you look better with your own hair. And it's to me, it's a nice little breakup. Next time I do a video, I might be wearing another short one. I don't know. I think I'm going to switch it. I also have a really long one. When I first wore that, um, I think it was a year ago or so, I had a lot of you say that you didn't like it on me at all. It's really long. I think... Now I'm a better, I'm better skilled with it and I'm going to give it a little more of a trim and I'm going to try it out one day just to see. 
to see what you guys think. So anyways, we're back from Vegas. I'm gonna insert a little clip yesterday that was taken, driving down to my mom and dad's, and then some photos of my mom's 95th birthday. 91st, she'll kill me, 95th. 91st birthday, happy birthday to my mom. My next video, if you guys want, and some of you have said you want more swatches of this stuff, I'll do that, but this is really what I'm doing. And just labeling it is the only way I can keep track of what it is because their labeling system sucks big time. So I'm also going to talk about a new mascara in my next video that I've been using and I've been loving. So I'm going to talk about that mascara and then I'm going to really go into my, my Sigma PR package that I got because I'm like tickled pink to have received this. I really am. It's like amazing to me. And um, even these, you know, the eyeshadow palettes, you know, I haven't used it yet. I think I shared this before. But the colors look like they would be really nice. They're probably more in a warmer shade. But I'm going to play around with them. I'm getting daring. So today when I put my, my eyeshadow on, it's kind of heavy. And I probably have to blend it better. But today when I did it, Jay looked at me and he said, Please don't go out like that. You look like a... I'm not going to say what he said. I look like a cracked up bluffin. I said, Really? I do. I look like that? <laughs> Anyways, he didn't think it was funny, but um, so I think that's all I really wanted to touch on So thank you so much for watching the vlog. I truly appreciate every single one of you look for my next video Where I'm going to talk a little bit more about my Sigma package and also the sunscreens that I used how they worked for me And what I did for my skincare while I was away from home and traveling Happy St. Patrick's Day Eve. Oh, yeah. it all washed out Hmm Yeah Yeah What are you going to do for St. Patrick's Day? Aaron Gobra. Are you going to cook us a St. Patty's meal? Yeah. <laughs> we have to find someone that will invite us over for that. Yeah. Isn't it like potatoes and gravy? No, it's more of corned beef. It's supposed to be like corned beef and cabbage. Corned beef and cabbage. So who's got corned beef and cabbage cooking tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day, that lives in southern New Hampshire that can invite <laughs> us over? Anyone? And you gotta have some Guinness Stout beer. Oh, Guinness Stout beer. Hmm. So tonight we're going to Longhorns in celebration of my baby sister's birthday. And picking up mom and dad and taking them to Longhorns. And uh, gonna meet Caitlin and Travis there. Yeah, that would be fun. Maybe, maybe you'll have a stout beer tonight. Almost 70 years of marriage and 91 years old and they're still smooching in public. <laughs>